We're looking at Math 245 statistics homework question. And this says, the probability experiment consists of, I wonder if I can zoom in more. Maybe not. Give me one second. This is so small. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to go ahead and just make it a little bit bigger on the Word document, okay? Because it was so small. All right. So the question is, a probability experiment consists of rolling a six-sided die and spinning the spinner shown at the right. Okay, I'm going to copy this spinner too. So I can see the spinner has four different colors. So the probability of landing in one color is one out of four, right? Okay. The spinner is equally likely to land on each color. Use a tree diagram to find the probability of the given event. Then tell whether the event can be considered unusual. Event, rolling a, this question was two, and spinner landing on <coughs> yellow. Okay, so. First of all, what is the probability that I will roll a six-sided die and see a, a roll a two? Okay. First of all, the dice or die has six faces in total, right? And how many of those faces have two on it? Only one. So rolling a two on a die roll is one out of six. The probability is one out of six. Next, what is the probability that I will get, uh, I will spin this spinner and get yellow? Um, there are four different colors, right? But there is only one face, one slice that is yellow. So that's gonna be one out of four. So let's find the probability that both will happen. We're going to have to multiply. What is the probability of rolling a 2 and spinning and getting a yellow? Okay. And that we have to multiply these two. And since these two events are independent, just because I rolled a 2 doesn't mean that I am likely or less likely to get a yellow on a spinner. I can simply multiply these. So 1 out of 6 times 1 out of 4. Okay, That com fraction comes out to be 1 out of 24. So that is the answer, but they want decimal. So I'm going to get a calculator and divide. 1 divided by 24 equals that decimal. 0 0.042 rounded up. Now notice this decimal is, this decimal, 0 0.042 is less than 0 0.05. So this event is considered unusual, okay? Anytime a probability of something happening comes out to be less than 5%, you can say that probability uh, that you know, that event happening is uh, not likely. It's unusual thing for this to happen. So let's type those in. The probability of this event is 0 0.042, and this is unusual. Yes, because the probability is 0 0.05 or less, and that's how you can do this question. And this one was. Let me see which homework was it. Um. Question number 24 on 3.1 homework.